Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today what I'm gonna talk about is keeping your rifle scope clean and how to get your rifle scope clean without damaging it or messing it up. It's inevitable if you've got a scope on your hunting rifle that at some point in time, that thing's gonna get dirty. It's gonna get some crud, dust, dirt, mud, bark, you name it, grass. It's gonna get some crud on it. Even if you're just going to the gun range, it's likely you're gonna get some kind of dust and debris and stuff on your scope, especially at some point on the lenses. And this is what I wanna spend a little bit of time talking about is how to properly clean your scope without damaging it. And there are certain products you probably wanna stay away from, and there are certain products and materials and methods to keeping your scope clean and getting it clean that are really simple to do and they're not gonna cause you any problems. They're inexpensive and might be probably things you already have around the house. So I've got my son's rifle here. We've got an Arkin Optics SH4 Gen 1 scope on here. I'm gonna spend a little time showing you guys how I go through the process of cleaning a scope like this after the hunting season's over, getting everything all shined up on the inside and the out. Well, by inside, I mean the lenses of the scope. So with all that said, let's get at it. So let's take a look at the products and the supplies and things that I suggest you might wanna have on hand before you get started. So first thing, microfiber cloth. This is going to be a really handy item when it comes to cleaning the lenses or wiping them off. You can also use the small, these are a microfiber, but it's more of a silky, satiny kind of a fiber cloth. The dust lens cleaner that comes with your scope, you're gonna wanna have one of those on hand. Paper towel. Now, I don't suggest using these on the lenses, but these are gonna be what we use when it comes to wiping down the external and getting everything clean on the outside. Uh, some Q-tips or cotton balls of some sort are good to have, and isopropyl alcohol. So alcohol is what I suggest you use. There are some other cleaners that you could use. Uh, you could use something like dish soap that cuts oil and grease. Uh, denatured alcohol, as I've said, you can use that for cleaning a lot of different applications. But in this case, I'm gonna use your standard household isopropyl alcohol and some sort of spray, spritz, wax, polish, whatever you wanna call this stuff, that's detailer spray that you may use on your automobile, you may use around the house. This is a ceramic coat type spray here. Uh, I've got this from my bicycle racing days, but this stuff works great. And what I'm gonna do is show you how to use this on the external side of the scope, all on the outside, and why it's a good idea to do something like this sparingly. So with all these supplies on hand, oh, we don't wanna forget, kind of a different angle here, but your flip caps. These are an asset that make this cleaning process a lot easier if you do run these. So if you do run some sort of flip caps, it's less likely you're gonna get as much crud inside of here on your lenses and things. So with these supplies, I've also got a regular towel here in case your scope was really dirty and gummed up and crumb, you know, all sorts of, you know, crud, maybe it dropped in the mud or something. But not a whole lot as far as fancy supplies needed to get your scope cleaned up. We're not using any harsh chemicals here. That is the big thing to know. No real crazy chemicals that are gonna cause problems with the finishes on your lenses. Uh, no crazy chemicals that could eat into O-rings and seals and things on the scope. Isopropyl alcohol, and the reason we're using this, this stuff cuts grease and it is not harmful to coatings on glass. So with all that said, first thing we wanna do is take a look at the scope. Now this scope is more just dusty. This doesn't have a lot of dirt and stuff on it. This has just got some dust from being carried on a sling in the field. Uh, this is a Hawa 6.5 Creedmoor that my son uses to deer hunt with, and it's got a little bit of dust on it from this hunting season. So let's get some of this stuff out of the way and you know, let's get started. The first thing I like to do is if you've got a sunshade on your scope, we like to take this off. Now you don't have to take your scope off of the gun and having to re-zero and all that kind of stuff, but doing it on the gun is just fine. So in this case, we've got the sunshade off and we're gonna check this thing out. So, you know, I don't seem to see a whole lot of crud on here. We just got some dust on it that uh, we could just brush off if we needed to. You could have a old toothbrush or something like that on hand if you wanted to as well. But what I'm gonna suggest you do next is use this paper towel. And what I'm gonna do is squirt some of this isopropyl alcohol on here. I'm gonna put these down on here. 
So I got a couple of these Q-tips wet. Now we want to be real careful when it comes to cleaning the lenses. We don't want to be grinding or wiping dust, dirt, and sand and grit on these lenses. Take a look at your lenses really close, up close, get a good look at them. If you see dust, dirt, and debris on there, you may even take the you know alcohol and pour it on it and flush that dust and dirt off. Don't go scrubbing it off. I also do not recommend using an air compressor to blow it off. If you do do that, something like the cans of compressed air keyboard cleaner may work from a distance, but you don't want to be taking and blowing dirt, dust. You don't want to sandblast the lenses or blow dirt up into these threaded areas. So I'm going to suggest, again, if you needed to, you could pour some of this right over the end, flush that dust off and that dirt off. And at that point, now we've got our Q-tip with some alcohol on it. I'm gonna suggest you go around the edge here. See if we get any off of there. I don't see much on here. And I'm gonna go across here a little bit. Now this lens, uh, or this scope has had scope caps on it, so there's not a lot of debris on here anyway. But let's go around here a bit and see if we've got any, no, nope, nothing much on there. I'm going to pour a little bit more alcohol on here. I'm going to douse these really good. And this gets rid of fingerprints and smudges and everything like that. And now that we've got all this stuff off and out of the way, what I'm going to do is take this microfiber, go around here and get the alcohol off the lens. Here we go. And looks clean to me and the rubbing alcohol evaporates and dries extremely fast now in the event that we left any smudges or streaks or smears or anything with that microfiber these dust cloths that come with your scope work really good for cleaning your lenses so something as simple as this now we've got our ocular lens nice and clean and my son did a good job keeping this rifle clean because well we didn't get anything off of there so now we're gonna go along and I'm gonna do this to the other lens here. So we're gonna get down in here. Again, go around the edge. And I inspected this first, so I'm not going in this blindly and like I said, grinding uh, dust, dirt, and sand into the glass here. But let's see what we got here. Well, again, I don't see much, but there's a little bit on there. I'm gonna go around this again a little bit. Take our other Q-tip here. Go across this again a little bit here. There we go. Now, let's get the microfiber again. Wipe this out a little bit. And again, make sure your microfiber is clean. You don't want something you've grabbed out of the garage that you've been using to wipe your bumper of your car with or something. All right, so now we've got that. Repeat the process. We're going back to our lens cloth here. And there we go. As simple as that, inexpensive, easy, no harsh chemicals, no fancy products, a couple Q-tips, microfiber cloth. You probably didn't even need the paper towel here, but we're gonna use that in a bit. And your isopropyl alcohol. Now you could also use, if you didn't have the alcohol, there's a million different commercial these things. Lens cleaners. Well, if you read the ingredients on most of these, I'll tell you what they are. Right there. Isopropyl alcohol. So these are great if you got them. I keep this small one in my uh, range bag or in my hunting bag in case I need to, you know, use it. And you're not carrying around a big bottle of alcohol. But with that said, our lenses, they're now clean. So when it comes to the outside of the scope, again, we've got this paper towel with alcohol over it. I like to wipe this down really good. So we're gonna get the SH4 Gen 1. Now this is the OG for Arkin. This is the original Arkin right here. And what we're doing is we're gonna clean this down really good. And again, you know, you could use light compressed air on this. I'm not recommending it if you get too carried away with your air compressor and you blow dust and dirt up into areas you don't want it. But light air, like I said, a keyboard cleaner or something of that sort probably wouldn't cause you problems. So we've got the outside cleaned off. You might have some 
dirty fingerprints on there, maybe some blood from some game you got or something. But the isopropyl alcohol works really great. Hey, we're disinfecting this thing too, right? So you might as well wipe the rifle down a little bit while we're at it, right? Now keep in mind, if you do wipe off any bare metal parts with the isopropyl alcohol, it is also going to remove any of the oils. So the back of my bolt in here, this is going to be ready to rust. So things like that you'd want to re-oil. But now, this is where I'm going to come to using this spray of sorts. And what I like to do, let me get these out of the way here, is I like to take this stuff and I'm not going to blast the scope. I don't want this to get on the lenses. I don't want this to get on the parts I just cleaned. But what I'm wanting to do is put a light film on here that's going to resist a couple things. It's going to keep things from sticking to it and make cleaning the scope in the future easier. And this is something you don't have to do, but it's something that I like to do. So I'm going to spritz a little bit of this on this towel here. Could have also put on the microfiber, but I like to use this towel. And I'm just going to wipe this down, and I'm kind of keeping away from my lenses. And this is also great for when you're out in the elements. This stuff is uh, going to resist water and repel it and make it beat up and slide off of your scope instead of just, you know, clinging to it. And especially if you're in a cold environment where it could freeze up all over on it. So, all right, so we got that wiped on and I'm gonna give it a quick buff as the directions say for that stuff and you could also you know put this same material on your sunshade now with all that done we're going to go back and repeat one of our prior steps and what that is let me get my camera here is we're going to take our isopropyl alcohol and we're going to wipe this edge and we're going to wipe this edge. And the reason we're doing that is we want our flip caps to grip on here. Uh, if I put that flip cap on after putting this waxy, slippery, oops, see how slippery it is? This slippery stuff on there, they're likely to fall right off. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and now that we've got everything else all set the last thing we're doing is we're going to remove that stuff from the area that we know our flip cap could grip there we go removing it simple as that watch it evaporate we probably don't need to wipe it again and if i do i want to get this rag to a side that i don't have that polished stuff on and I can noticeably feel the difference. This is extremely slippery, um, well coated with that film. And down here, my fingers, they squeak. You can hear them. So, hey, with that, this is as simple as it is when it comes to cleaning your scope or getting it clean after some field use, after some time at the range. Um, it's important to do. These optics, uh, the quality of the image is highly dependent on you keeping the glass clean and clear, free of scratches, free of debris, free of glare. That is going to make your optic perform the way it was designed and intended to perform. Any artificial material on there is going to cause you problems and set you back some. So I hope you guys find this content useful. A relatively simple process to do, but a lot of people do overlook this. I've got rifles just hanging in my gun room that I don't have caps on, that the rifles are pointed upward. There's dust and debris on here, and I've gotten out to the range before and wondered why my image quality is so poor. And it's something as simple as dust from in my gun room that's made my uh, you know image quality pretty poor. So if you've been out west and you've got that orange sand dust all over your scopes, I suggest you clean those up. If you're hunting in the east around here and you got oak leaf powder and mulch and all that stuff on there, seasons are coming to an end. Spend a little bit of time. Get yourself a cold one. Get yourself some isopropyl alcohol as well. Some Q-tips, a couple little towels, and clean up your scopes. Hey, I hope you find this content useful. If you did, hit that like and subscribe buttons. I'm going to be making a lot more stuff like this and uh, helpful, easy stuff to keep your stuff running and working good. So, hey, until next time, get yourself on out to the range or if you're still out hunting, anyway, just keep on shooting.